day and welcome to episode 7 of Sharon's Good News. I'm your host, Deacon Jamie. This is my co-host, Ginger. She's still taking a nap down here, working behind the scenes a little bit today. Welcome to my living room in this week of Pentecost. For our first story for today, let's go to our Kids Time correspondent for today. All right, it is kids' time, uh, so let's open up our story box and see what our story is for today. We'll get out our story cloth and lay that out. If you have a blanket or something at home that you want to get out and lay out, you can. We'll light a candle. And we'll find out what our Bible story is. Our story for today comes from the book of Acts. Acts, right? You know, action, right? Movement and things happening. The book of Acts is about that. It's about action, about the beginning of the church. And so today we're celebrating this day that we call Pentecost, a time of celebration, kind of a birthday of the church. And on that day of Pentecost, a whole bunch of Jesus' disciples and followers from all around the area, people from different countries that spoke different languages, were all gathered together. And they were starting to communicate with each other. And they couldn't understand each other, of course, because they each spoke a different language. And they were waiting and waiting for something to happen. And all of a sudden, there was a wind, a whoosh of a wind that came. And the Spirit came. And all of a sudden, there were flames. Flames that looked like flames on their heads, and they could speak and understand one another. All these people with different languages were talking about God and they could understand each other. They were filled with the Holy Spirit that day. And the church began on a mission, God's mission to share God's word and love with others. They were filled with the Spirit and sent out. Now, this morning, I'm not going to try to have flames appear on the top of my head. I tried that once and you can see what happened. Right? My hair is gone. But we can do something else to maybe try to understand a little bit better what the Spirit is. Do you know what these are? They're bubbles, right? Bubbles. We don't know necessarily how bubbles work. I mean, there's air inside of them. There's air moving the bubbles around. And it's kind of hard to understand completely and explain. But we can see the wind and the air and the bubbles. That's kind of like the Spirit. It's a little hard to explain what the Holy Spirit is, but it's there. God is with us, each of us, each and every day. It may not be like a flame, it may not be like a bubble or a wind, but it's that feeling inside of you, that feeling of love and strength and support. Sunday, May 31st, is the day of Pentecost. It is a celebration of the beginning of the church, a day when God's Holy Spirit filled Jesus' followers with love, life, guidance, and support, and with a mission for the church. It is also the birthday of the church. And so we go to our correspondent Dave for a birthday song. This is Sharon's birthday song. Not exactly sure where it came from. Let me teach it to you. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. There it is. So now all together and a little bit faster. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. There it is. Thanks, Dave. Today, we have a new segment for you from my co-host, Ginger. It's called Giggles with Ginger.
Thanks, Ginger. Speaking of birthdays, did you know that this year is the centennial year for Sharon? Sharon Lutheran Church is a hundred years old. Some centennial plans have had to change, but hopefully we can be back to normal by time the day of the centennial celebration in this fall. Did you know that you are the church? You are Sharon. And I must say, all of you are looking pretty good for being a hundred years old. Happy birthday, Sharon. May we continue to celebrate and to continue to share the good news of Jesus well into another hundred years to come. These Sharon Good News videos are a lighthearted and fun way to share the good news of Jesus Christ and to also share how members of Sharon are doing just that. I usually end this program with some humor, but given what has been happening this past week, I think that sharing the good news and ending in prayer is more appropriate. On Pentecost, we celebrate the Holy Spirit, filling us with life, love, hope, and peace. The Holy Spirit also moves us as a church into action to share the good news of Jesus Christ for all people, no matter of color, race, or creed. I invite you this day to have a moment of prayer and silence in memory of Cody Holty and George Floyd as we pray for them and their families. Let us also pray for justice and peace in our community and in our world. Spirit intercedes for us with signs to be for words to express oh, oh, oh. the Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words to express oh, oh. 